Joining us is rugby writer Jamie Wall, who literally wrote the book on the rivalry between the Springboks and the All Blacks. And Jamie, should we be mad about all the officiating, or did we just get outplayed? Uh, that's a loaded question, man. <laughs> um, I, I think there's definitely some things to talk about, about the officiating. Uh, I, I personally, I don't really blame Wayne Barnes and his crew. You know, they were just doing what they were, what they were told to do. Um, I think the real argument around officiating is whether they're being told the right stuff. Uh, on the other hand, though, I think the All Blacks got outplayed. Um, I think that Peter Steph Toy took it on himself to just try and murder as many of the All Blacks <laughs> as he possibly could. It's just unfortunate it just came down to just goal kicking, really, you know. Um, but that's what the Springboks did in their semi-finals, so perhaps they deserved it just a little bit more. Is it time to bowl the whole thing and throw out the rule book and just start writing from the beginning again and reinvent the game? <laughs> Well, you mean like limiting the amount of time you can have the ball to say six tackles? And, uh, <laughs> um, no know, scrums? No, have no, no line outs? No line and, outs. And, no and, you can't, and you can't push in the scrums? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, I mean, kind of that, that could work. Um, <laughs> don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm much more of a fan of, game, of games that involve a whole bunch of tries. Uh, but, you know, like, it just feels as though we're drifting quite far apart as rugby fans. And so if they can somehow do something to the laws, something to the officiating, something to the way that the game is uh, promoted to, to fans around the world, then we'll probably have a much better product. Well, Jamie, thanks so much for talking to us tonight. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Project on Monday Night. Look, Matt Heath is here. Matt Heath, part of the Hauraki Breakfast Show, mm. and I know you will have been watching yesterday. What did you make of it? Uh, yeah, it was horrible. It was the worst time I've ever had in my life. It was terrible. <laughs> uh, I took it quite personally. I felt every moment of it. It was, it was, it was horrible. It was a horrible spectacle. You're just standing there. I was standing in a pub watching a big screen, watching Wayne Barnes watch a big screen for, <laughs> for, for most of it. The only person that had a worse time was probably Sam Kane on the sideline. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you feel vindicated, horrible. though? Because a few months ago, you basically called rugby, rugby's problems, which became everything. In their finals. Yeah, and I was wrong briefly, wasn't I? Because yeah. that game <laughs> yeah, that's right. was amazing. amazing and yeah. and, uh, and the, the French game was incredible. Uh, no, I was wrong briefly, but now I'm, now I'm right again. But I don't feel any <laughs> joy in that. The whole thing's a disaster. I, I, I'm I'm people, I, I get people, people calling it, calling the game boring and that, but I, was, I enjoyed that whole, whole game in a, in a very nervous kind of hating it but enjoying yeah. it. I was on the edge of my seat oh, that yeah, whole yeah. game. There's no way you call that boring. It was, no. it was horribly well, because, tense. because the result mattered yeah. so much. If you mm -hmm. care about the if you care about the result, then it's never boring. Yeah, it can yeah just true. be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, if you're wondering, I told you last week that I was going to be on a plane when the second half was on. Actually, the plane was delayed just enough for the final to finish. So I don't know if that was on purpose or not. I did have this kind of mental image of the pilots in Koro watching the last 20 minutes, but I got to see it as well. And yeah, it was pretty punishing. My, my daughter said, Dad, what if there was an emergency while rugby was on? <laughs> <laughs> I said, you have to look after yourself. <laughs> look after yourself.